Good morning, everyone. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining. Um, you know, we we'll, wanted to talk to you a little bit today about UPS, right? You know, we all know UPS is, we're all familiar with what they do, but, you know, what a UPS could do before and, and the value it was able to deliver to your customers has really changed quite a bit over the last, you know, one, you know, one to two years, one to three years. Uh, you know, with the kind of the, the introduction of lithium ion technology, not just, you know, as part of our portfolio, but really the entire market. And, you know, with the product that we're talking about here today, it really takes it to the next level. It really looks at how a UPS has gone beyond just the UPS and now becomes something that that's redefined. So uh, we're going to jump into that here in a second. But, you know, for those of you that don't know, that don't know me, excuse me, my name is Steve Donnelly. I'm, so I'm a category manager uh, for all of North America that's responsible for all of our go to market. Uh, you know, actions and and uh, and activities for our smart ups and signal face symmetra. So, um, you know, certainly looking forward to working with all of you. Uh, you know that that might be listening to this conversation today, and and obviously as as we go forward here. So, before we get into the product itself, you know, I wanted to talk a bit about what are some of the challenges that you know you know customers are seeing on a daily basis, right? You know, the end users that you're calling on and on on a on a day in, day out basis, what are they hearing? And and there was one in particular that our teams have, have worked with, and it's a higher education university, um, you know, that that really sees three primary challenges, right? Um, for a lot of the teams, number one, if you look at the installation on the left hand side of the slide, there, it's challenging. You know, that is one of the only quote unquote available areas in the entire room where they can stick, you know, wiring. IT compute UPS, so it's challenging. It is much more difficult to find available space to put IT compute in the infrastructure you need to support it. In addition to you having to find physical spaces, you know, you have more IT compute. That's that's part of organizations nowadays. You know, there's so much more demand for resources that IT networks and IT uh, in general, um, you know, provides. And, you know, there's just so much more that we need infrastructure for. And, and lastly, it's how to do more with less, right? We talked a little bit about it before, how, you know, in this day and age where you have many, 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 many people uh, adopting some sort of a hybrid type approach to, you know, their 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 day-to-day -day basis and, you know, how can they manage all their infrastructure and, you know, with so much, small over a budget and so fewer people. So how do you manage, you know, all that? And one of the ways that our teams, you know, within the line of business side to do that is to really look at, you know, UPS and and kind of flip it on its side and, and figure out a way to deliver value that that really is is unlike anything that we've ever been able to do before. And the way we did it is, is really by looking at three different things or three different pillars, if you will. The first is with an innovative design. So you'll see here in the next few slides that this is a UPS that is unlike anything that we've ever done before. Um, you know, our teams took uh, as much time as they needed to really develop a, a brand new platform from the ground up down to the component to make sure that we have, uh, you know, a, a best in class product that goes beyond anything that they've ever done before. Number two is the fact that we're going to be leveraging lithium ion batteries as well. So I mentioned it earlier in the conversation, lithium ion introduces a number of of advantages to you know to to your customers and to those that you're talking to on a daily basis. We'll talk about that here in a minute. And and then third, just like all of our top of the line and and optimum level products, you know you've got the ability to connect to either you know your your home uh, kind of homegrown on-prem network or connect to the, the Schneider Cloud. And again, we'll talk about that here in a few slides. So without further ado, let's look behind the curtain and really understand what is a smart up ultra. 5KW. So in short, it's a unit that is, you know, more than a third smaller and more than half uh, the weight of the comparable lead acid 5KVA product that you all know and love today. So it's a product that, unlike the SRT 5K today, you know, does not have to replace the batteries. You know, you have your lithium ion battery that lasts as long as the UPS. So it's as close to a set it and forget it type approach as you could ever imagine. And then finally, you know, when you're looking at the purchase price, sure, the elephant in the room will be the simple fact that, you know, a product like this will carry a bit of a premium with it, at least in terms of a, an upfront and initial purchase. The reality of the situation is, is that when you extrapolate the, 
the expenses that you need to to uh, to address throughout the lifetime of UPS. You're paying one initial upfront purchase with this product, and that's it. Unlike a traditional lead acid UPS, that's going to require batteries, you know, at least three times throughout the life cycle of UPS labor and folks to go out and replace them. Uh, you know, talk about efficiency differences, so on and so forth. So it's a huge, you know, difference and a huge opportunity for you and your teams to to really start telling these, you know, telling these, uh, you know, the, these, you know, your your customers. What 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 do UPS can really do for you? So moving on a bit, what does the back of the unit look like, right? So I, I talked about it before, kind of looking behind the curtain, and this really looks at okay, th this unit is going to provide you an embedded network card. Since any product that we've got that's 5 kb and above will come with, uh, a, a, you know, an included network card, whether it just be pre-installed or embedded. So this one's embedded because the team has did such a tremendous job shrinking this unit down from 3U down to 2U. Uh, and then you've got your connections for an EPO switch, your connector for the XPP and a universal I.O. port for your temperature and, and humidity probes. And you've got your two 208 volt 30 amp outlets and your two 20 amp 208 volt outlets. So, um, you know, something that is exactly what, you know, you know, your customers have been have been telling, you know, both yourselves and you know, our teams throughout the various feedback loops that we've you know, had going for the last few years that, hey, this is what we need and that's what we've been able to deliver, excuse me. So in terms of, you know, the total cost of ownership store, we talked a bit about it before, but I mean, this just talks about what, what does the science really look at now? I mean, you're not, you're not seeing something strange. You're talking about a UPS that is, you know, a third smaller, half the weight so you're talking about a, a two-person install down to one person so that frees up one person's day um it, it's just a, a much 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 easier ups to move around manage and, and maintain and frankly you know the <clears throat> excuse me the reduction in u height from three u down to one down to two u you know allows you to deliver back to your teams that hey this is one u that you can now leverage for any sort of other it compute that you may need so it's you know this day and age with this valuable um, you know, rack space as it is, it's a huge deal to be able to deliver that back to uh, to your internal teams. So, tying it up from a hardware perspective, you know, we talked a little bit about what we've mentioned before. You know, with some of the specs in terms of the height, uh, the lithium-ion batteries, the five-year warranty. You know, which covers both the the power electronics and the batteries. But turning attention to the right side, there's three things I, I want to make sure that you take away from this this conversation today. One is the simple fact that hey, this this unit got smaller by a lot. Um, number two, it's, you know, one, one and a half times more power dense. So you're talking about doing a lot more with less from a power perspective. And three, the resiliency of the product, because it uses lithium ion batteries, you don't have to replace those batteries. Once you install the unit, it is a huge deal to, again, to be able to tell to your internal, your internal teams and, and then your, uh, your decision makers upstream, uh, you know, from yourself. So turning from the hardware, side of things to the software, you know, how does, how, how does this UPS help you tell that story? And if you're trying to talk to, you know, management about this product and how can you help leverage and manage and monitor this unit from, you know, not being on premises, which, you know, let's be honest, is the case for a lot of folks like yourselves right now, you know, this unit is, con is connectable right out of the box. I mentioned before, it's, it comes with an embedded network card. So without, any sort of added accessories, any thought to add something onto a bill of material, you have your network capability right from the box. So it, it allows you to connect up to, uh, you know, EcoStructure ID if that happens to be what you're running uh, via the network management card. So it's pretty, you know, pretty straightforward. But you know, something that was an absolute requirement for our R&D teams because of how, you know, much you're seeing, you know, environments going more to the edge and, and becoming much more of a distributed IT play rather than a, a much larger kind of data center type play this KVA plug. And then last thing I'll, I'll leave you with here today is is really what what are we looking at from a, a timeline perspective? You know, having a product is great, but you know that doesn't mean a whole lot unless you can really get your hands on it. Right. So your your sales teams, you know, will be able to start selling you this product um, for the three KVA, which is already out. Uh, you'll have the the five K that we're talking about here today will be a late Q2, uh, early to mid Q3 type availability and then available and you know right this moment 
uh, for quoting, purchasing, shipping are the products you see on the right hand side. Those are our our short depth versions, you know, from 500 VA all the way up to 1500 VA. Then your standard depth versions, you have the 2.2 or, or 2200 VA, and then 3K VA or um, you know 3000 VA. So. Uh, again, thank you very much for the time. You know, extremely excited on behalf of our entire line of business to bring, you know, the Smart Ups Ultra to, to you and, and your teams. And uh, we certainly look forward to, to talking with you a lot more over the coming months and, and delivering value to, you know, your teams and, and your organizations uh, much more over the, uh, the coming years. Thanks again and have a great rest of the day. Take care.